right, so what I want to do is pull together some other common factors that you might see for what can increase and decrease supply. If 
you think that your business is not going to do well, if you think the economy is not going to do well, people aren't going to buy your product, you don't want your inventory to build up. That's a bad sign in the economy. When we start seeing a lot of companies with their inventory sitting around, do do do, full warehouses, nobody's buying it, that's not good. Now, with resources, there's another way we can look at this one too. More resources would be cheaper. Cheaper, good. Fewer resources, expensive. Expensive, bad. Very bad. So, again, I can't give you every possible scenario for what might cause supply to increase or decrease. The bottom line is, all of these things would make you more likely to produce. These things would make you less likely to produce. That's the only thing you really have to remember. So now that we've done demand and supply separately, we got to put them together. And this is where things can get a little bit weird. So again, P and Q, you're going to get used to doing that. Demand, supply. Now, this magic point right here where they intersect is your market equilibrium. To find your market price and quantity, you want to come out to your price axis and down to your quantity axis, and that tells you, ceteris paribus, meaning we're not changing anything, what people will be willing to pay, what suppliers will be willing to supply, where do those two things coincide. Now, if you had to pull that off of a chart, for example, you have a demand chart, a supply chart, you just look at where they're equal. That's where that goes. Now, what are you going to have to be able to do with this? What happens to your equilibrium if you increase supply, for example? Now, we can say with absolute certainty that when we increase supply, our price is lower and our quantity sold will be higher. That's not a problem. We can say that if we increase demand from our point where we started, that our price is going to be higher, that our quantity supply is going to be higher. But what happens if we increase both of them? This is where you've got to be careful, is when you have supply and demand shifts at the same time. Now, the way I've drawn this, price looks like it's almost the same, but our quantity is actually down here from both those shifts. Does that mean that when demand and supply both increase, the price stays the same? No. Because what you can tell for sure is that quantity increases. What you don't know is what happens to price. The increase in quantity is indefinite. Price, you can say, is indeterminate or it is unknown. And it depends on the magnitude of the shifts of both curves. That's what you've got to be careful with this stuff. When you start shifting both together and you have to find the change, be careful that your answer doesn't depend on how you drew it.